So uh, before we continue, uh, there was one thing I forgot last time was, was setting positions. So location relative to two, it's currently setting it to the middle and we'll go a bit more complex later. But the thing you want to do is to set the bounds. That's the one we're missing. And if you look in the bounds, it has an X, a Y, which is your location on the screen, and a width and a height. And we could do control Q to see a bit more onto that. So if I wanted to, I could set something to any position I want on the screen. So if ever you get multiple windows, maybe you could direct the location of those windows and they're all open for you. So this is a good thing to notice. Uh, one last thing I want to let you know is inside a GUI, well, inside any graphics, inside your uh, graphics cards and so forth and so on, the way that it positions or the way it's set to be is that your top left is always going to be position zero zero. So the top left of your screen, that's the position that it starts at. So this is going to be your initial value. And then it's going to be going up positive towards the right. That would be your X going positive. And if outside you go negative if to the left. If we were going downwards, we're going positive Y. And if we go negative, we're going upwards. So let's try this out. So in this case, I'm going to comment these two out for now. And what we're going to do is set a bound, um, set this value. So the X, the Y, and the width and the height. So in this case, let's set it to zero, zero, and let's say 500, 500, right? Now, starting at this location, let me run this. We should see our windows up here. And you could see that happening. All right. So what if I did 300x, 0y? Let's try that out. You'll notice it's going to be around somewhere here. This is 300 points. On my screen, your screen could be different. We're not going to go into details of y. If I put this 0 and I put this 300, now we should see it around here or here. You see, again, 300 points, right? And if we go negative, so let's say rather than 300, we go negative 50. Still valid. And here we go negative 50. Now it's a bit outside the screen, so you should still see the tip of it because the width is bigger than our X and Y, right? A bit of uh, thinking there. So you could see here it went off screen, but the 500 is showing the tail of our windows. And again, math is not hard. Whatever point we start at, actually, let me run one of this. The location we start at, so in this case, whatever the coordinates being here, let's say this is coordinate something easy, okay? So this say this is coordinate 100 and 100 as an example. And we know our width is 500. So this whole thing here is 500. And we know our height is 500. Right. So our actual, let's say, if I wanted to know the position of this location, well, we're going to add 500 to both of this. So this location is 600 X and 600 Y. So if I wanted to start another window, I'll make sure to not only put in the coordinates into my calculation, but also the width and the height so that they don't overlap unless that's what you want. Cool. I'll see you in the next video.